Okay, live again. Um, today we are going to create a, a, a new painting together, I think. So it will be, um, I'm unprecedented, how to say. There's no uh, reference in Chinese brush painting yet. So we have only photographs of this bird called the uh, spoonbill. Uh, it's a pink, kind of like a flamingo. Rosy at spoon. Yeah, yeah rosy at rosy at uh, spoon. Bill. Uh, rosy at is like the color is like a rose, yeah. uh, uh, pink. Rosy at spoon. Bill. Spoon bill is uh, the beak of the bird uh, with a, a big round uh, like a spoon. <laughs> so I was uh, wondering what uh, technique we're going to do. Um, we also have some other. Uh, references of uh, different water birds here. Mm -hmm. so there's more of those birds here than there used to be. Yeah, some of the others seem to be disappearing. Mm -hmm. I don't know. So what uh, we try to do is to um, maybe we can use one of these uh, photos. <laughs> which one? Yeah. I saw some uh, wood store. Mm -hmm. So yeah, they, they kind of keep the, the wing open when they uh, search for food. Mm -hmm. That's very, yeah, I think that's the, the way they the bird birds. Okay, <laughs> for light colored birds like uh, um, egrants or, or heron, oh, we use the a outline technique mm -hmm. normally. Mm -hmm. um, we can do that. You can also use the uh, bonus style, which uh, we just explored, you know, with light ink or light color, with gray color. Um, so definitely, we'll, I will outline the, uh, the head part with a small brush. You can use pencil to, to sketch, you know, if you like. You can use this charcoal also. We have charcoal here. Charcoal could be dust off. That's the Chinese way to do a composition planning or like drafting. Um, so just a sketch. Try to make the two wings a little bit different in the size. So I will draw the beak with the ink to make sure that the key part is uh, done. So there's a big head cup. We don't really see the details. And uh, you, you can um, combine different methods. Let me just try with a different uh, approach. I'll use a little bit uh, size. <coughs> you know what size? Water okay. resist. Okay, normally we use a full so solution um, olive. Olive is like a crystal. Olive. 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 A L U M. It's a, a food uh, kind of. Uh, yeah. You can use that in mounting for, you know, for moss uh, uh, fun fungus uh, treatment. Let me see for for many from that. Uh, and yeah. bugs. Oh yeah, sealed absorbency. Basically, sealed absorbency of the paper. Okay, I use a, a new product called the transparent white ink. Let's see how it works. Basically, this turns raw paper into size paper. Mm -hmm. uh, this is like a. Um, Partially. It's different from the liquid uh, painting, mask. Painting glue? Yeah, the uh, painting glue is a difference. That's, mm -hmm. a, uh, that's a uh, binding material, uh, add, add on to the paint, to mm -hmm. dilute the ink. This is a, 
uh, water resist, just like the masking fluid in watercolor. Mm. I cannot use the masking fluid on rice paper, it would stick on there for mm -hmm. forever. Mm -hmm. I cannot get rid of that. Um, and you can still paint, paint on this, I hope. <laughs> you, know, you can blend the color with that. So it, it um, let me see if I have the a clean pot. Yeah. I think I could just use. What do you need? Oh, I just get from the bottle. I think this this is the way I do it. So I just. He's got it, Dom Dominica. Yeah. yeah. No, no, don't worry. So basically, I I um, pinch the bird with the water resist. This is now you can see why I use the black so I can see mm -hmm. what, what I'm doing, right? And you can you can draw the feathers. So I, I paint with a brush. You cannot do this with the water uh, masking fluid because mm -hmm. it would destroy the I destroyed one of my best <laughs> mm. brush. But this this is okay, I think it's okay. It's not just a stick sticking. And you, uh, if you paint very gen uh, shallowly, it will not penetrate all the way through. The, it is partially, um, partially sized. It's not completely sized. If you, if you, you know, like here, I want to. You can even use white on the back to make it a, like a, you know the same effect. So this. Uh, do that. You can mix this with uh, with white. I think that's what I try to for the white for uh, feather. You can just mix this. You can mix this with color, any color, like pink color, also. If you want, it's just transparent. So I I just paint the the head part and the neck with white. And uh, mm -hmm. you can add some uh, some some pink, right? So just do the the color with with this solution. And then I, you know, when I wash the water, hopefully it's will block mm -hmm. <coughs> the serve as a, a mask. It, ha yeah. it has to dry. Yeah, it has to. Dry. I have yeah. the dryer here. We were fully prepared for <laughs> today. The feather, you know how many primary fine feather in the universe? Seven major ones, right? Mm. Yeah, long ones, in the maybe eight. My my teacher knows all that. Something my teacher, uh, he could make a. He's expert of making the uh, models from dead anatomy. An anatomy. anatomy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So he knows all the details of the bird. Anatomy. Okay. That's a. Uh, see this wing was like that. The shoulder part. Uh, this is just a regular um, sheep, sheep hair. Yeah. <coughs> I tried to negative paint a little bit. See if I can get the watercolor. This is an experiment, fusion <laughs> of the two traditions, some technique from from, uh, from Western watercolor. <coughs> See, if I, I think it should use some kind of blue in it to make it dark. I think that's what the uh, some some uh, ultramarine, maybe like a shady part. And uh, what's the color of the leg? It's red. Uh, I think it's a. Uh, let's just make a purple. Some, 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 
can you can make it flat from the from the primaries. <laughs> okay, I got it. I try to make it more uh make it bulky. Uh, yeah, I can make it the beak a little darker than the picture with me. This is the picture. It's, I cannot really see the details. Mm -hmm. That's how I see it. I think. You, can, you can do the... Now I maybe try it to... Um, before I do the wash, the dryer, There's some yellow on the on the crown and the right crown. Mm -hmm. <laughs> some yellow and the <laughs> dark, I think, on the neck. Let's see a little. Um, okay, I try to make sure it's fine. <laughs> you can use your finger to test if it's dry or not. This is uh, fully uh, raw. Now it's the uh, size, uh, partially. Yeah. Let's try. It, uh, let's see. If, uh, you know, put on a test. Because uh, if you if you um, if you paint shallowly, not uh, penetrate all the way, it might be semi size. Okay. So uh, let's just do some wash to test it. Let's see. <coughs> Uh, maybe it's too in the middle, but uh, you can crop the painting. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> this is how the picture is. Um, it, it's, uh, yeah, let me just do a little <laughs> the background. So maybe a hanging uh, tree with moss, uh, with the, the steps, the stickering. So you're liking Florida, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the moss and the trees. How about the palm tree? Yeah. Okay. Palm tree. You like the palm tree? Yeah. This, this, this one? Yeah. Okay. This is more like a flamingo place. Okay. Um, palm tree. Yeah, we, okay. We just do this. But in, in Chinese painting, we try to make the proportion more um, to the truth, to the true, uh, not to the distortion, uh, like the foreshot or. Um, the, the foreground is too big, like, mm -hmm. but you know, you can, well, this is a fusion, but you know, we don't have to, uh, to, to apply the Chinese approach. We can use this uh, frame style. So just do the, like the picture. It's like a uh, painting, um, what, uh, what do you call the, Flower and the birds painting and mm -hmm. landscape together. So this is considered uh, flower and the birds. You you paint life size. 
the, the three, three months. But I feel like life size, you don't make it small. Oh, this is the original picture. From, from our backyard. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so we could yeah. spot one before okay, we next eat. week for backyard. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They're not predictable. Sure. <laughs> they tell okay. me to be the husband. So let me just. Um, them, so we, we have copyright. Now. <laughs> we have a license. Right. <laughs> we just yeah, copy we'll everything. <laughs> We don't have to change 10% even. Oh, no. <laughs> we are yeah, original <laughs> photograph and authorized. So I just copied this Madonna. Uh, I think Jody gets 25%. <laughs> okay, we split. <laughs> Now that uh, there's some trees behind, um, that I wait a little bit dry to do that. Um, I think the tree trunk is on this side, on the left side. Anyway, I, I will do that just according to my understanding. Um, get the here. Let's see that. I just use brown color to the tree trunk. I think it's too low, it should be a little higher. I can cut that off, I think. <laughs> yeah, it's too it's a higher. And the, the river bank is uh, like that. Now I know where uh, it's taken. I, I I was there this morning taking <laughs> pictures, right? Yeah, I, yeah, I recall that. Yeah, I was yeah, behind this part. tree. <laughs> well, I was hidden behind this tree <laughs> taking uh, photos. Yeah. Uh, I realized that the birds is not scared if I walk right. all the way what to the... Right, what are not. Uh, that's what's that? Um, yeah, this is the tree I was behind. <laughs> okay, let's just do some uh, sandy... Bank. Use a little bit of brown color, maybe a little bit of mix. Yeah, you don't want to mix too much, that you, you, but I, I like to, to have it gray, so let's just try this. Okay. With some trees behind, um, we make it some green there. Okay, so this is a small uh, dried leaf. Mm -hmm. And I just use all the colors. This is the foreground. And, uh, the wet line is a little darker. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Color that. That's too much red. Like whatever. Oh, the reflection should be. For the water, uh, the Chinese way, you, know, you, you can draw the line of the waves, like diamonds. We call it net, net water, so we can use that traditional way. Like. Mm -hmm. 
This is not the ideal, it should be a more pointed brush. You can use a softer brush to do everything, but it's very easier to do a soft brush. I try to also use some lighting from the photo to the clear of the light. You can use a newspaper to practice this and once you you don't get spontaneous you do this, you feel the water moving. Yeah, this is nice. It feels good. Yeah. You have to make it the chicken hand. <laughs> no waste any ink, please. <laughs> You don't waste any ink. Oh, I don't waste any ink. Yeah, that's the philosophy. Yeah, I don't. I don't waste any water. See, I don't wash. I don't wash much my my brush. That's uh -uh, yeah. You just use it. Yeah, I just use the use it. Right. That's that's a very important observation. Okay. So this is the kind of like texture, and then I I have to dry it before I uh, apply more. I, I, I need to draw the consistent bank. It's right up there. It's good to paint it where you, you, you're familiar. You know. Try this first. Let's see, I let me just watch it right into that. See what happens. I need to show the bird. So I have to use more color to squeeze out <laughs> the, the, the white fur so you can get the feel of light. Um, that's the gray green. Let's just do some uh, ultramarine and uh, Raw amber. Let me see. Let me need more or some blue. I think. That's it. See, if I go through over oh, this, mm -hmm. see what happens? Mm -hmm. Avoid like that. Yeah. Oh, that's a beautiful. One. Mm -hmm. That's a beautiful effect. That's beautiful. Yeah. I don't have to worry about covering anything. You just go through it, over it. Okay, that's good. You see? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, we did it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah, the transparent. Mm. The tra secret thing is transparent uh, white ink. That's the product name on mm. blueheronarts.com. Huh. If you want to get it, we have plenty of them. Mm. Uh, I'm, you know, if I don't do this demo, nobody knows <laughs> how to use it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody buy it. <laughs> transparent white ink is what it's called. Yeah. It says right on the bottle. I'm Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> what is it really? It's an alum. Oh, it's alum. Uh, okay. Alum and the glue. Alum but uh, it's a trade secret. They didn't put anything mm -hmm. on the bottom. Ah. A trade trade secret. Trade secret. Trade trade secret. Did you use, say to use an old brush? 
How do you clean the brush? You just water? You don't have to clean, it's not glue. It has oh. no glue in it. Okay. Um, but you better wash it before it gets mm -hmm. dry. Yes. My experience with the um, alum, full solution of alum, you can do the same thing. Uh, you have to like dilute the whole thing with a little, as little water as possible to just mm -hmm. melt it until it's no longer melt. Mm -hmm. That's the full solution. But that will crystallize on the brush. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you, <laughs> it's not a good, um, good thing. Yeah. So let's uh, let's t tell me um, from distance what you see. <laughs> yeah, we need to mount it um, to show the full effect. I think the bank could be consolidated a little more. Is that red star? This is a no. It's just a, a common brand. We call it Purple Moon. It's an unknown brand. Yeah. It, but we, we know the, the, the manufacturer, um, so we always buy from them. It's e equivalent to Red Star, but much less expensive. Yeah. So let me just finish. By what, what happened to Red Star? Did they make anymore? Red Star is, uh, is there the, um, because it's a monopoly, uh, the price goes with the gold. It's like a rare commodity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. It's uh, limited to certain tons per year. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that's the deal. Yeah. 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 Like diamonds. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Does it come from um, China? Yeah. The, I heard someone want to see how it's mounted. You want to see how the, it turns out with mounting? We can even do it with uh, while it's still damp. Really? Yeah, yeah, with dry mounting. Oh. Um, but it will oh, fix, yeah. um, if you like the effect so far, we can freeze it by mounting, you know. If you think it's still evolving, you just wait. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes, yeah. Well, you're the artist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I can mount it probably. Um, I think we need to make sure the. I can look at through the light, mm -hmm. how dark it is, like it, the... I think from the photo, the dark is only on the top, not in the bottom. But what do you think? The, if the bottom needs more dark, to yeah, yeah, a little yeah, more. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe the contrast. Is contrast is not enough, mm -hmm. so we can um, because after mounting, I cannot do mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. So if we just add a little more. Oh, in other words, after you mount it, it's only limited to the fine touch up, so to uh -huh. speak. Yeah. Yeah. So I can um, I can do it on the back. Mm -hmm. um, to, yeah, you, you can, you can, you see, is is the same. Effect. I can watch mm -hmm. on the back without worrying about mm -hmm. anything. You know, not covering anything. So just. Um, mm. Make sure it's dark enough. It's like the pink is set now. You, it's not going to run. And the white. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the the pink is in the in the white. Yeah. I, I blend it. You could also apply more. Um, let's try that. If you use ink, I mean paint with pink. You have to use quite uh, thick one. So I use opaque, mm -hmm. opaque, uh -huh. opaque color. This is a opaque, opaque like a the fresh color. You know the. This is okay then, to cover it. See, uh, you can use uh, dry watercolor. It, it, it can still be painted. Mm -hmm. Like uh, you can use white to. to let me see. Is any yellow? You can. This is yellow. This is yellow. I can add little, little yellow to the white. Just a little touch of the yellow. More watercolor impressionistic. <laughs> There should be no white there. <laughs> Impressionistic is the um, colors from the reflection, blah, blah, or something. Um, there should be a shadow. So I, I can paint the shadow with gray or something. You have such restraint in the pink reflection in the water. 
I would probably have a great big glob of pink down there in the water. <laughs> you know, just so subtle. Mount it. I can't wait. <laughs> 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 okay, where's the? I, I can use method one. Method one is like you go uh, directly onto the back of the painting with the silicone. Okay, let me move all the stuff. Now this is a different mounting process. Uh -huh. It's a, uh, yeah, different. Uh, so what is this paper? I think that this, 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 uh, this, 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 I just cut it. Directly. This is a. Can you hold that? Oh, it's okay. A little bit bigger is fine. I think. Smaller. A smaller. Okay. 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 I. I think it's okay. Yeah, just cut it to like that. Uh, it's, not, it's longer, so I need to cut the lens. It will stick on the felt, you know, so that's mm -hmm. what has happened. Yeah. Um, if you have a bigger sheet, mm -hmm. so just try to be precise. Can you hold the, the edge with me? Extra hand on Okay, so cut the paper into the same size or the uh, slightly smaller. Uh, it's, 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 uh, it's, I think it's okay. A little bit is fine. Uh, we want to see what happens. If it's big. Okay, we can cut that off. I think it's too big. Mm -hmm. We can cut this corner off. Would be perfect, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have rotary cut, uh, the cut, cutting board. We didn't bring. Yeah, I was just going to say cutting boards and rotary cutters. Yeah, these are the ones we, we use always. Hmm. Okay. Hmm? And this is the substance. Thanks substance, the the substance. <laughs> you know, the down to the minimum, uh, what you need is uh, this. Today. So here, um, let me see. This is the, the release paper we just uh, used before, mm -hmm. and you cover that um, to protect the painting. So the, the silicone paper facing up uh, with the film side up, and the painting facing up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't want to make any mistake. Yeah, the back. Uh, the, this is the, the back. Mm -hmm. Okay, here is the the correct lineup. The silicone side. Yes. The back is the silicone, then the back of the. Can you do front. this in a heat press? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what's it's supposed to be. Yeah. Like I have a big heat yeah. press. Yeah, yeah. That's what it is designed for. Okay, so center, center out. Center out. Because we already have moisture in it, mm -hmm. we don't need to spray anything. That's why I yeah. try to do it right now. Yeah, Otherwise, you have to kind of spray it. Because method one requires spray. Although it's wet mounting, I mean dry mounting, you need to have some moisture to flatten it. Otherwise, it would more likely to get wrinkles. So felt is okay, but the best is to use four layers of thin thinning, which is a little firmer. So when you, when you get experience, anything, <laughs> you can cook with, you know. 
Marcy, the problem with a dry mount press is you can often press wrinkles in. Well, I don't press. I, I yeah. Don't press yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's better to work from the center out. See, I used to have a shock. I did posters for people. Mm -hmm. They had, you know, the paper was terrible. You had to dry them out. Mm -hmm. And they'd buckle mm -hmm. inside the frame. So I guess I've done this and I'm getting related to this. But rice paper, rice paper. I've never worked with anything like rice paper. <laughs> okay, I, um, I tried to get around with, uh, with this. this. Oh, I also iron on the back, but normally I don't. I don't I, I, iron on the back. Because I just want to make sure it has no wrinkles. Uh, it's silicon. I know, I'm just asking about the temperature of the You see, this is the situation. You got some uh, unexpected effect with some some nice reflection kind of wrinkle. You can keep it, See, you know. That's a good thing. Yeah, it's something like it's just a good thing. Um, when you iron wet, it's, you know, wet painted, uh, mm. paint with paint wet, uh, you can create some special effect. Mm. You know. But that some doesn't happen when you spray it. Uh, when the paint is already dry, it oh. won't create its any, any, uh, it's not a wrinkle. Sometimes it, uh, the color just become uneven, you know, some yeah. uh -huh. uh, more textured okay. or something. Um, one day when I paint outside, I rubbed the paper before, uh, rubbed the painting before it dries with the, you know, like this, uh, this paper. Uh, when I got to the hotel, and it created some very nice effect. <laughs> oh. just, uh, uh, some paints get stained on the, uh, like a reflection on the other. Yeah, so it's, with the reflection, it's all, um, natural, you know. Mm -hmm. drop cloth material would work as well. See, oh, sorry. Oh. I think uh, it's on the back side. <laughs> it should be on the front side. <laughs> See, this is the what happens if you put the uh, facing down, facing down. This, this is, yeah. If it's bigger, you, you got this uh, stick on. on the, you did that on purpose to show us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can you can rub it off. Not to do. Not to do. Yeah, you can rub it off uh, just with your fingers. Yeah. So, Otherwise, it might stick on the on the painting. <laughs> Cut it off. Okay, just keep iron because it's quite wet. Um, it's a, it's a eighty percent, ninety percent dry. It's okay now. I think it's okay. You can touch it. Yeah, you can take. Yeah, then it won't wrinkle. I think there's still something. I think it's okay. What do you do? Is some wrinkle like this? It doesn't matter because this is not permanent. I can peel it off and put it on a piece of uh, uh, key paper mm. or, or um, the backing paper we use. Oh, yeah. The best. Yeah, you, you can transfer it onto the permanent support. This is a temporary support. So some wrinkle like this is okay. As long as there's no wrinkle on the painting, mm -hmm. this is finished. So how would you remove it from that? How, how do you remove it? Oh, here? Okay, yeah. Okay, here's how it is. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> and then you Yeah, you, paint, you, you, you release it, and then you iron it again on the permanent support. Oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. But it releases. No, no, it's protected. Uh, even you can fold it, you know, without uh, creating wrinkles. Um, you can you can see it's almost like. A so now you can put that on the illustration board or whatever you want. Wow. Yeah. Oh. And just yeah see, this is a, this is lamination on the on the other side, right? Oh. Like, you don't put it on the front. Yeah. 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 So the next step before you frame is to put it on the. Um, you can put it on a piece of uh, uh, like a double shine or something. This is, you know, you can put on the same paper you painted on. Yeah, this is like uh, like this. I think uh, we've got some stands. We'll see. That's okay. I think we should put it on the corner.
Okay, um, this paper has a little color from the ground. So that will add to it. So just, it's okay, just put on there. I can avoid that. So I haven't signed it to it. Okay, this is the, the, the uh, like traditional way you put a, another, another piece of rice paper behind. You can, I think it's better to put a thicker paper, like the backing paper we, we used before, but you can, you can, you can use that. So um, if you have a big painting, the problem is uh, it's labor intensive. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. You need more hands. Yeah. More yeah. Hands. yeah. You can do it section by section. I used to do a very long uh, strip for three hours, like with iron, 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 iron. Yeah. If you have a press machine, that helps. You can do it uh, faster, but you still can uh, mount it uh, you know, section by section. Okay, let's see over here. Oh, you Very good. Thank you. Yeah, oh, yeah, just sign it. <laughs> you can still, um, yeah, this, this is time to sign and uh, put a seal on it. Um, this corner is still wet because I have the wet paint. I need to make sure it's dry. Just to make sure it's dry. Where to sign? That's your suggestion. On, on that? Yeah, yeah, this is a party gift for anybody. Yeah. <laughs> you agree? Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, that's uh, all watercolor. See, the beauty of dry mounting is uh, you're uh, not uh, worried about uh, smearing uh, when wet mount. Mm -hmm. the, the red will rain, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll fly, you know. No bleeding. No bleeding, no bleeding. So we just, uh, you can still paint because the dry mounting process does not seal the absorbance, it still absorbs. Mm -hmm. You can still wash, you know, like a silicone board, they dry mount it. You understand? It still absorbs, but not too much. You can you not go back to the the other side. Yeah. yeah. I'll keep writing the second letter first. The only one dot. Uh, the year of dark. Yeah, I use a big brush to write the small. I cannot even see I can I, with my heart. <laughs> heart high, mind high. Yeah. Okay. Like, I'm going to sign uh, uh, signature. I wanted uh, seal. to say, if you don't mind. Uh, just the year of a uh, dog, my, my name, uh, uh, Chinese name Li Xiaohui, or uh, uh, Henry Li Xiaohui Li. <laughs> Okay, the red seal on the bottom. You can use the tag, I think. Here, here. Okay. See, we need a little tangle. Yeah. It's just a sponge. Hard sponge. Foam, actually. Okay, that's uh, my name. You've captured Florida. We've only been here a couple of days. <laughs> Thank you for your participation and your witness. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.